Et koniam skiunt, se offendis a deum suum filii Israel, tremor tuus super ipsos est. And since skiunt, okay, that's the verb of knowing, and notice it has an nt. So who knows what? Oh, since they know, right? So which plural people are we talking about? Probably the sons of Israel. And since they know, they had offended their God. Who? The sons of Israel. Oh, and since they know that they had offended their God, their God, the sons of Israel know this. Tremor to us. Here's your subject. Your trembling or like terror over them is. So since they know they made you mad, God, their terror, your terror is over them. Next sentence. In super etiam fames in wasit eos et ab ereditate aquae yam inter mortuos computantur. Okay, in super, that is just an adverb. Above, from above. Even from above, famine. Notice that is a nominative singular. The dictionary entry is famis, famis. Mm -hmm. um, famine, starvation, invaded them, even from above. And from the dryness, the dryness of what? The water. Remember, they have no water. Now, among the dead, computantor. That's a passive verb. That means to think or computed. So it means they are thought among the dead. So they think they're dead ducks because they have no water and no food. We'll try this again. Even from above, the famine has invaded them. And from the dryness of the water, now they are considered, thought, computed to be, it's understood, among the dead. They think they're dead ducks. Okay, moving on. Denique hoc ordinant ut interficient pecora sua et bibant sanguine eorum. And so they order this. They decided to do this. They being the leaders of Israel. They order this that they kill their herd, their livestock, and they drink the blood of the livestock. So they're saying there's no food and water left, so now we have to kill our herd and drink their blood because we are so hungry and thirsty. This is kind of creepy. Et sancte domine dei sui, quae precapit deus non contingi, haec cogita verant impendere, et volunt consumere, quae nec manibus deberant contingere. Ergo, coniam haec faciunt, certum est quod in perditionem debuntur. Now we're continuing on. And the holy things of their master God, like the things in the temple. The things, and then we get this nice relative clause describing those things. What about those special things in the temple? The things which God ordered not to to be touched. Notice that's a passive infinitive there. And those holy, the sacred things of their Lord God, which God ordered not to be touched, these things they decided to use up. And what else? They want to eat the things which, oh, another relative clause. They want to eat certain things and we're getting a relative clause to describe them. What do we know? Which not with hands should they touch. Debeo is a verb that takes an infinitive. It means ought to or should. So it says which they ought to touch. They ought to not touch with their hands. So let's take that back to make sure you understand. And the holy things of their Lord God, which God ordered not to be touched. These things, those crazy people decided to use up and they want to eat the things which they should not touch with their hands. Continuing, therefore, since they do these things certum est, it is certain that into damnation dabuntur. Oh, future and passive. B U N tells you it's future, or B U tells it it's future, and T U R says it's passive. They will be given into destruction or damnation. 
quod ego ancela tua cognoscens, fugi ab illis et misat me dominus haec ipsa nuntiare tibi. So Judith continues, because I, your slave girl, knowing this, I ran from them. And Mesut, he sent me. Who sent me? God sent me to announce these very things to you. Ego enem ancilla tuo deum colo, etiam nunc apute, et exiet ancilla tua, et arabo deum. Let's see what else she says. For I, your slave girl, I worship God even now in your presence. So she's saying, hey, I'm still going to be a good Jewish girl, even though I'm hanging out with Yehola Fernes, even now in your presence. And your slave girl will go out and I will pray to God. Et dicet mihi quando eis redat peccatum suum, et veniens non tibi, tibi, ita ut ego aducam te per medium Jerusalem, et habebus omnum populum Israel, Secret always quibus non est pastor, et non latrabet while unas canis contra te. And, future tense, he will say to me when um, he repays back their sin to them. So she's saying, God will say to me when he's going to take vengeance on them for their sins, them being the people who want to eat the holy things in the temple. And coming, future tense, I will announce to you in such a way that I, a ducam, more future tense, I can lead you through the middle of Jerusalem and more future tense, you will have the entire population of Israel. And now she makes a nice little metaphor thing, just like sheep for whom there is no shepherd and more future tense, Somebody, uh, not will bark. What will not bark? Even one dog, not even one dog will bark against you. So let's do that again. And God will say to me when he is paying back their sin to them and going, I will announce to you thus so that I can lead you through the middle of Jerusalem and you will have the entire population of Israel just like sheep for whom there is no shepherd, and not even one dog will bark against you. So she's saying, Holofernes, we got this because God is going to help me out. Quoniam haec mihi dicta sunt per providentiam dei. Since, my gosh, that's like the 900th time we've seen this word. Since these things to me were said through the providence of God. Et quoniam iratus est ilis deus, haec ipsa missa sum nantiare tibi. And, hey, do we know what quoniam is yet? And since somebody is angry to them, oh God, since God is angry to them, these very things I am sent, or I was sent, a perfect passive, I was sent to announce to you. So, and since God is angry to them, I was sent to announce to you these very things.